Marine Corps new rifle is super expensive, and no one knows why. In a race to field a more powerful automatic rifle, the Marine Corps sidestepped the normal acquisition process and approved a contract to buy them at price tag five times that of the current M4 rifle. The $150 million deal, which may have involved a government employee who recently worked at the foreign arms maker that won the bid, is now under intense scrutiny from Congress and raises questions about the Corps' aggressive focus on fielding more lethal gear into troops' hands as quickly as possible. Odrold replied that an open competition for a new rifle would burn more money than it would potentially save, costing Pentagon as much as $24 million. Do I think the industrial base could support those types of quantities? Absolutely, he told Wilson, citing a December 2017 Government Accountability Office report on the M27. But what we would experience by reopening the competition would be perhaps not being able to recover the additional money, and probably a two-year delay in fielding that weapon to the rest of the infantry. But starting over, as Baudrill put it, doesn't appear to be the real money sink. Ironically, the GAO report doesn't include specific prices and quantities for the individual rifles proposed during contract discussions with H&K and FN, all of the various price points are marked as deleted. But it does note that of the $27.5 million spent to procure, test, and field the H&K M27 IR thus far, a whopping $18 million went to the purchase of the weapons themselves. The remaining $9.5 million doesn't square with the predicted cost of $24 million. If anything, it's the speed of fielding, not the price, that appears of major concern to both the corpse and the gun. 